News became official this morning uh, with Fee being the official defensive player of the year of the league. So just now that we can, you know, talk Are about her. Are you tricking her, me? No. Okay. <laughs> they put out the, they put out the release okay. and everything. So. Uh, but just now that it's official, you know, just what it's like, you know, just the performance she's been on since you've come over here and been her teammate, and especially in these playoffs as well. Yeah, no, um, it's super cool. Um, just playing against her and now just being her teammate, she deserves it. Um, she works her tail off every single night, whether it's in practice, um, shoot around, it doesn't matter. Like, she comes to work every single day um, and just goes hard. So this award is definitely deserving of her. I mean, Lan was second team all defense as well. So just like, what does that say about, you know, just you know how, how much, you know, defensive quality you guys have, especially in the post? Yeah, I mean, shoot, I need to get up there and <laughs> play a little better defense. <laughs> but no, um, no, it's super amazing too. Uh, this is like the first time I actually got like to interact with Lan. So another one that's super deserving of it, um, just the type of person she is. Uh, so no, it's super cool just to have like both your four and five. Right. Um, being, you know, all WNBA defensive teams. Yeah. And then you also think about, like, Lan, like, she's not the biggest five in the league, yeah. but the fact that she can hold her own, how she gets blocks, it's amazing. Um, so definitely deserving of both of them. Uh, super proud of them, too. And with this series coming up, it's, you know, with obviously what we just talked about, Lan Fee, yourself as well. You guys have been one of the best defensive teams uh, in the league, especially since you know you got here. Connecticut's been you know a top two defensive rating team like each like each of the last four seasons or something like that. Mm -hmm. Just how you know you know defensive like I think Cheryl said knockdown drag out to sort of describe it, but just like how you know excited are you to play in this you know kind of you know series that's for sure going to be a little rough and tumble. Oh, of course. Um, that's why we all play this game though is to play against the best. In Connecticut, they're going to give us um, their best shot defensively and offensively. Um, so for us, it's just you know staying focused, knowing exactly what we think they're gonna do and what they've shown that they're gonna do too when we've played them. Um, so I think it's just, just going out there with some energy today, yeah. starting off really strong. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, sending the message right. early on that like this won't be an easy um, round for them. Yeah. Uh, and just, you know, just going hard and just bringing that energy. Right. And Phoenix obviously had a lot of offensive threats on the floor at, at one time, you know. With Connecticut, you're thinking AT, Dewana Bonner, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the Mabry trade has been big for them. Just like, what, how unique of a challenge um, is it playing against the Connecticut Sun, particularly in the post? Ooh, particularly in the post. Um, AT is just able to do everything. Yeah. I mean, uh, she's an amazing uh, player. Someone I actually, like, watch her game and try to model like some things because we're similar size and just how she's able just to last and just continue to get better every single year. She's definitely someone I look mm -hmm. up to in this league. Um, so just knowing that like we're going to get her best effort, um, she's, like I said, capable of doing everything. Like she's going to try to get her teammates involved, mm -hmm. but I think first she's going to try to insert herself a little more. So it's just trying not to foul her, play defense. Um, all the post players though, just play defense um, without fouling. Don't put them on the line and make it really hard for them. Um, but the way they they operate on the offensive side, so us playing defense, like they're a really like slow paced team. Yeah. It works for them, yeah. you know, <laughs> clearly it works <laughs> for them. They got the number three seed. Um, so it, it's just knowing that like the play is not over. Yeah. Like it, we won't get the stop maybe in the 14 seconds. It may go all the way down to 23rd second yeah. type thing. So it's just continue to just stay focused and dialed in through the whole possession. When you take care of a team in the first round of two games, do you get the benefit of this a couple of days off in between? But I know you guys got back to work right away. Just what's like the, the playoff intensity been like in, in practice over the last uh, few days, getting ready for the semis? Um, exciting. Uh, I think we're all ready to go, yeah. coaches included, uh, players. Like we're bringing the energy. Um, so that'll translate on the court tonight, and then you know moving forward um, to next games too. I'm good. Right. Thank, Thank you. you.